other day, and that, that cartoon never ceases to just flip me out. The level of animation and just the ridiculous things going on. What's the title again? Waikiki Rabbit. It's where uh, these these a tall, skinny guy and a short, fat guy get marooned on an island, and Bugs Bunny's there, and they keep imagining their each other are hot dogs and hamburgers, and <laughs> chasing each other around. And it's a great cartoon, and the backgrounds are practically abstract. Mm. Uh, beautiful cartoon, terrific animation. It's just it's Chuck Jones at his best. You know. Uh, one thing John always, John's a huge fan of Clampett, and it was always Clampett, Clampett, Clampett. Clampett stuff's funny and beautiful and all that, but I don't know. Ch Chuck Jones, at his prime, with like in the mid to late 40s, there's nothing better, no, no, no better layouts, no better drawings or animation, just great mm -hmm. stuff. Clampett's yeah. got that. Later on, all this character started to look like, and I think any Chuck Jones fans uh, get hurt by this. Well, it's just tough, because uh, it's a tough world out there, but you know, pretty soon, as he got older, uh, Wile E. Coyote and Bugs Bunny and, and Sylvester the Cat all looked exactly alike. They all had kind of broken backs and long eyelashes and stuff. But, but in his heyday, Chuck was the man. Wow. Yeah. Great. We have time for maybe one more question. You had one over there. Somebody over there had one. Yeah. yeah, I was just going to ask. Um, you had mentioned to get started. Um, you know, if you're just getting started and you wanted, instead of pitching an idea, you said you should use like uh, one of the programs that's available now. And, uh, programs, uh, software. Or uh, software to use. Toon Boom is great. It's really good. I used to use it back. I directed a show called Robot Boy in Paris uh, some years back, but uh, it was terrible then. But now it's it, all the bugs are worked out, and uh, it's a really great program for production, for storyboarding, for animation, and uh, and I don't think it's that expensive. I, I would recommend that. Toon Boom. Yeah. You can sneak in. One more question. Uh, yeah. The pilot was made for us in and the official one, so I sent it in the Oh, okay. So now, well, now I know. Well, this. So now we can mark this up as educational. <laughs> we all know something we didn't know before. All right, hey, well, you've been a, a terrific audience. Bob, is his table, do you know your table number? Uh, I don't know. It's, I'm, right across, it's, I'm right across from Steranko. It's on this floor, right across from Steranko. Can't miss it. Just look for Steranko's hair. Yeah. Right I'm right across from Steranko's hair. I'm doing sketches, I'm selling prints, and I have actual animation cells from the show for sales. So yeah, Bob, well, kindly let me plug my book. I, have a, I, I do books on comic and animation history. I'm up on the uh, C in C. Uh, in the wood under a chandelier or something. And uh, this book in particular, I thought some of you might be interested in it's it's a book uh, John Kay and some of his pals did uh, comic book stories. And so uh, th this and, and about 50 other books I've produced on comic and animation history are. And that's all drawn by original John and, and all original Ren and Stimpy artists. So yeah, it's so, the real so, stuff. Thank you, Bob. So yeah. please come up. Go to, go to his table first. And come to my We'll be back in a few minutes with Dennis Kitchen.